Slipknot is back, masked and crass. You'll get nothing like it! <laughs> Find out what the knot and Johnny Cash have in common, besides wearing black. Coming up, just when you thought you'd never see their pretty faces again, Slipknot is in the studio. Now that we're back, it's better than it ever has been. We're back like hardcore. Still crazy after all these years. After rumors of breakups and bad blood, it looked like the masked madmen of Slipknot were going to hang out their Halloween gear, but super producer Rick Rubin brought the band back from the brink, and they are now completing their third album in their L.A. recording headquarters, which sounds a little like the Justice League of America to me, only creepier. Slipknot are back, and as Ian Robinson found out, back with a vengeance. A year and a half ago, Slipknot was coming undone. There was a lot of tension, man. I mean, there was a lot of hurt feelings going on. Being the scariest metal band in the world can be exhausting. And after years of relentless recording and touring, the band members needed a break. The Iowa tour and the Iowa album was so intense and just so uh, dark, right. man. I mean, but I remember we, we came off and a lot of us were just like, our health was screwed. I gained like... 50 pounds, dude, just from sitting in my room eating because I didn't want to move. With a few Slipknot members taking on side projects, fans feared that their favorite mass Midwestern nine piece was no more. The fact is we needed other things to do because there's so many, you know, talented guys in this band. You know, everyone wanted us to go and have a little breathing room on other realms. You don't need to Now that we're back, it's better than it ever has been. We're back like hardcore. And The Knot is back in the studio, recording in a Los Angeles mansion with legendary production guru Rick Rubin. It's insane what we've been doing since working with Rick. He has the ability to look at an artist who's already established, who's already pretty much known for what they do, and look at it from a different direction and be able to pull that out, you know? And it's, it's all about interpretation. So what do the new Rubenized Slipknot recordings sound like? This is going to be like the most eclectic album but, that anybody's yeah. ever heard. We got, you know, mood keyboards, xylophones, timpani drums, stuff that we've never done before. There's more mellow pieces on it, and I don't want to scare anybody with that. I mean, it's dark. It's really a dark record, but I mean, there's, you know, the melodies have been just taken to a realm that we've never done before. Okay, so how about we hear some of it now? You get nothing. Yeah. You gotta wait until the album comes out. You, you know how we work. You'll get nothing in like it! <laughs> if you're not not fans, our intrepid metal reporter Ian Robinson got a taste of the new record and informs us that, and this is a direct quote, it's Slipknot, but it's Slipknot turned up full tilt and with all musical receptors open and charged. I have a feeling we may have a classic in the making. That's your Uncle Ian talking, and around here, his word is gold.